Hi, I'm Andrew, and welcome back to this week's edition of Taekwondo Step by Step. Remember, we told you that this week we'll be going into the kicking. That's exactly what we're going to do. But first, let's meet Master Yi Gyu Hyun. Hi, Master Lee. Now, Master Lee, as everyone can see, we're here in a very different place, and of course, this is Kukiwon, the world headquarters of Taekwondo. And also, it's the office of the Taekwondo World Federation for over 150 countries, right? But what is it that we actually do here in particular? Yes, here at Kukiwan, we constantly practice and develop new forms in Taekwondo and introduce them overseas. Another routine work is to screen applicants for Tan or black belt grades and present them with a certificate when they prove themselves qualified to bear that certain degree. And also we teach aspiring Taekwondo instructors whether they are from Korea or abroad. Okay, you got all that then. So today, what, what are we going to do today? Yes, first, we will learn about Twichagi, and starting from next week, we will learn Pumse, or standard patterns of Taekwondo. Okay, so the first one was Twichagi, was yeah. it? Yes, that's right. As I mentioned before, for Twichagi, the back kick is used in situations like when I'm standing like this, uh, with my back to you someone is approaching me from behind. In this case, you may think that I would kick without looking behind. But actually, I take a quick look over my shoulders and then kick. You need to look behind for precise kicking. And it's no problem kicking behind you, right? No, not at all. So that's Tichagi. Now, the next one, I think, is Bodochagi, isn't it? Yes, that's right, Andrew. Bodochagi is very similar to Mirochagi, which is pushing the opponent away rather than kicking him. Bodochagi is used when someone comes running toward you aggressively. Bodochagi will effectively deter him from coming in contact with you. Now, would you try attacking me, Andrew? You lift up your leg, push him away, and then make the attack. As such, Bodachagi is very useful in deterring the opponent's attack. Now, I will try to come after you. Okay. Yes, you put your leg down, and you can make a counter-attack with the other leg. Okay. Like this, you can stop your opponent. Uh, so that's Bodachagi. Okay, so now what's the next one, Master Lee? Yes, next I will teach you about the Huryachagi. Briefly, I'll explain the Ap Huryachagi and the Tui Huryachagi. For the Ap Huryachagi, you lift your leg, and using either or both of your front and back soles, you kick your opponent's face in a smacking motion. Okay. And for the Tui Huryachagi, maintaining a standing stance, you spin around and smack his face. I will show you again once more. I will show you how it's actually done. Please avoid my kick. And also for the apuryochagi, you do it fast and powerfully. Uh -huh, now that looks very cool. Yeah. Andrew, I just showed you Ap Huryachagi and Ji Huryachagi. I trust that you have been practicing hard and constantly the basics of Taekwondo. Now, I put a paper cup on top of this mannequin's head. Will you try knocking this cup away? <laughs> okay. I'll hold on to the mannequin. 
Wow, that was really impressive, Andrew. You have been serious about practicing Taekwondo, haven't you? Good job. Next, we will learn about Nerechagi. We've learned this before during our basic practices. Right, right. You remember, right? For Nerechagi, you lift your legs straight up, and using the whole area of your soul, you strike down on your opponent's face. Okay, just so that I won't hurt you, raise your hand and let's make believe that this is your opponent's face. Raise your legs straight up and strike downward. Now, one more time with precise aiming. Ow. Now, imagine what your opponent's face will look like after such an attack. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, it's that time again. Let's just see if you did remember everything. Follow along now with today's point. Well, how was that? Did you follow along with all of those there? I hope so, and I hope you didn't smash everything in the whole room. Don't forget next time to move things out. But now it's time to go back with Superman. Let's see what he's up to this week on Taekwondo Real Life. I don't know about you, but it looks like Superman hasn't been watching us here on Taekwondo Step by Step. We'd better buy him a television. We're out of time now. Let's go and see now what we're going to do tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we will learn about Anchagi and Dolyochagi. Okay, we're looking forward to it. Thanks very much, Master Lee. And thank you for joining us. Don't forget to catch us here again tomorrow for more on Taekwondo Step by Step. <laughs>